Welcome to the Region International Complex, a colossal building in Xinjiang Century City, located in Hangzhou's Central Business District. The dystopian apartment, called the Region International, is located in Xinjiang Century City, more specifically, in Hangzhou's Central Business District. The building was actually designed by Alicia Liu, chief designer of a seven-star hotel called the Singapore Sands Hotel, and was inaugurated in 2013. Impressively, the building is 675 feet tall and is currently home to around 20,000 residents. It is an S-shape and has 36, or 39, floors depending upon which side of the building you are. Unsurprisingly, it's one of the most densely populated areas in the world, thanks to the numerous residents coexisting under one giant roof. Within the more than 30 floors of the Region International, there are a number of amenities. Some include restaurants, swimming pools, and nail salons. The building also contains its own grocery stores and internet cafes. Essentially, anything one might find in town can be found indoors the dystopian apartment. As a result, many residents may never step foot outside again. Posing the question, will they also never get any fresh air or feel the sunlight on their skin? First, the residents aren't forced to stay indoors, nor are they forced to live in the dystopian apartment. In contrast, most residents are young professionals and influencers or college students. Both of them greatly benefit from the cost-effectiveness and convenience of living in a place such as an S-shaped building. Living there seems to be incredibly convenient for residents as they have everything they could possibly need under one roof. Convenience isn't the only advantage. Its affordability is another great benefit to living at Region International. Units vary in size and cost but range from 1,500 renminbi, which is equivalent to around $200 per month, to 4,000 renminbi, which is just under $600 per month. While some are apprehensive, calling it a dystopian apartment, others have praised the innovation behind the building. It's even been called the most sustainable living building on Earth. Another interesting advantage comes to light in the midst of a housing crisis that is seemingly sweeping the U.S. The dystopian apartment could serve as a model for how the U.S. can possibly create more living spaces for people without taking up copious amounts of land. Interestingly, one state has already developed something like the hotel-turned-apartment city. Whittier, a city in Alaska, has a 14-floor building in which all 272 residents live. It, like the building in China, has everything one would find in town. This includes a church, school, post office, and police station. Like everything in life, this, too, has pros and cons. After all, the building has been referred to as a dystopian apartment for a reason. As previously mentioned, many people are wondering how so many people can live in one place. U.S. residents tend to prefer privacy. For its 20,000 residents, it's not just about having a place to stay, it's about having everything they need right at their doorstep.